Hi, my name is Eagle Willier and I work for First Nations Technical Services Advisory Group. Today, we are here at the Wetaskiwin Regional Fire Training Facility and have some fun. Well, I will. I don't know about the firefighters, but let's go. My name is Rebecca Keenach. I am from Muscochise. I work at Louisville Fire Department. I've been volunteer there for eight years now and I've already done my level one. This structure teaches firefighters to feel confident and competent enough to navigate through a building, whether it be a house or a commercial building during a fire. When being tested, their masks are blacked out to simulate a smoke-filled environment that they must get through on their hands and knees and all their equipment, especially their breathing apparatus. Keep in mind, I'm only wearing my winter jacket and I'm struggling with moving through these simulated floor collapses, attic spaces, missing floors, and fake wires. Come on, I can't imagine how much harder this is with all that equipment on. I am now doing my level two. So here is a vehicle extrication that these firefighters are being tested on. Get this, the firefighter is cutting cardboard and whatever the material of the van is lined with. But take a look at how thin that metal is. That's the ceiling of a van, people. How terrifying is that? Be careful on them roads. Now, they are using tarp to cover up any sharp edges so that they can get to the injured patient, which in this case is a hose, don't worry, nobody was injured in this, that is weighing approximately 150 pounds to simulate a real person. So firefighters must proceed with great caution in case the person has spinal injuries. So they must ensure the neck is supported at all times while moving them on the spinal board. So, just like that. I had to complete high school before I did this, before I could do my training. I had to get my class five and then you get your Q endorsement and your class three so you can drive the big pumps. Hello, my name is Jonathan Campbell and I've been a I'm from Sturgeon Lake Reserve, First Nation, and I am a volunteer firefighter. I went to school in three different places. Uh, first place for my elementary was in Valview and then junior high, senior high was Sturgeon Lake First Nation. And then I con continued my high school in Fort McMurray, Composite High School. Uh, my name is Jay Fitzroy, I'm uh, from Orly, Alberta, uh, Nakoda Nation. And education. my education, I graduated from Orly Community School. Uh, and then I did some wildland for seven years. So let's get one thing straight. Wildland and structural firefighting are two different things. Wildland sounds just like what it is. Grass, trees, forest fires is generally seasonal and they use different equipment as opposed to the structural firefighting, which usually deals with buildings. And they usually have volunteer or full time and it's all year. Here you can see the firefighters are being trained for an interior attack of a structure. Some fire departments will even use thermal imaging cameras to help detect where the heat is so that they know when to go on their hands and knees. These firefighters are going to go in and get their injured patient. Hi, my name is Joshua Swampy. I am from the Samson Cree Nation and I work for the Stony Nakoda Fire Department and I have my grade 12 education. They were hiring out in the Stony Nation where I live now and I just applied and you know I know the guys that are running it so they helped me get on to the job there. Who inspires me? Uh, my dad was a firefighter. The reason I do my job is because I love helping people and I've seen the suffering of my, of my own reserve and how it affects when there's no help at all. And being myself, I have a big heart, so I'm willing to help anybody and everybody, so this job suits me. <laughs> I do my job because I found this uh, career more interesting a lot. Uh, this new firefighting career, actually, in structural firefighting. Favorite part about the job, you know, is helping the community, doing a lot of uh, things around the community. And you know, just the guys you work with, brotherhood, sisterhood, you know, not just guys or girls. On a daily basis, we, every morning, we check the trucks. We do a truck check. 
we check all the fluids, we check the hose lines, make sure there's no leaks or anything like that, have the trucks ready to go to roll out when we get a call. Pretty much the only thing that I've compromised on this job is not being at home with my children because I'll be gone on a shift for two days so I don't get to see, see them very much. But when I'm at home, I get to enjoy them. Odd times we'll get uh, assist calls and I'll have to leave home in the middle of dinner or something and leave the kids at home and take off. But they're in safe hands when I leave so I don't have to worry about that. Biggest challenge of this job would be trying to remain calm when you're under pressure and trying to take the orders, get the orders right <laughs> a lot. Once I'm done this level two, I want to further and become a fire investigator. To all the children out there that are, might be looking into the forestry or the fire service on whichever end you're gonna go, um, stick with it, have an open mind, and always be ready to learn because there's always something else to learn out there.